Welcome back to Foster and Grow, everyone. So today, just before we started up the video, we just wanted to say a very quick thank you to everyone who's liked, subscribed, or commented on our videos. Uh, the support really helps us, and we just want to say a very big thank you to everyone who's done that. Yeah, and if you do like our content, make sure you do turn on the notifications. That's the little bell on the side of the screen. That way you won't miss out on any of our upcoming content, which I'm sure you'll love. Onto the plant, Jared. Yeah, so today we'll be talking about the Eshavera Dark Veda. Absolute beauty. So this is actually a hybrid between a topsy-turvy and a black prince, which we have down the front here. And it's uh, out of Taiwan. It's a yeah. cultivar from Taiwan. So beautiful plant. Yeah, so onto the characteristics of the plant today. So um, with these guys, you can notice that they've got uh, very much upturned leaves, which uh, they will start off as a green kind of color, but as they um, get more sun stress, they tend to go to a red, then to a brown, and to a black eventually. Uh, further to that, they also have a bit of a mounting habit, and you can expect them to get to about 20 centimeters uh, tall and wide. Yeah, so that's eight inches if you're over in the States. Yeah, <laughs> and um, yeah, just a very unique and beautiful plant. Yeah, so when it comes to the location for the Dark Vader, there are a couple of key considerations. First of all is the temperature range. So it'll go down to about minus six degrees Celsius. Yeah, so 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, so it will tolerate sort of a light frost, but you will need to protect these from heavier frosts and multiple frosts. So as a result, we have ours potted. The other location that's important is the for the sun. So we give ours direct morning sun, but what else do we do, Jared? Yeah, so we just make sure that there's also filtered afternoon light. Yeah, so we do that because it doesn't really like hot afternoon sun and it does get very, very hot here in Australia where we are. Other than that though, the only other thing you really need to do is give it good circulation. So yeah, make sure it has that and then your plant, well, plant should thrive. Yeah, so in terms of plant care for these guys, there's a couple of key rules uh, which you will follow for most Sechaveras. Now, firstly, make sure that when you are watering, that basically you do not water into the rosette too much. If you can, water around it. The main reason for that is to avoid water and massing in the center. Uh, further to that, you will want a well-draining soil, and it's um, also important basically for pre preventing root rot. Yeah, so make sure you do have a hole in the bottom of your pot. The other thing that we've found as well is with the top layer of soil underneath the plant, we've started using sand and pebbles, and we've found that we've got a lot less fungal issues doing that. Mm, and further to that as well, guys, it just means in terms of like your leaves and that kind of thing, yeah. that they won't tend to rest on a moist soil, uh, which is just yeah another little helpful <laughs> thing which will avoid issues for your plant. Uh, but further to that, there's only other one major thing for plant care for these guys, and that's basically that every, roughly every two years, you'll want to basically cut the head off. The reason for that is they do tend to get a little bit uh, stemmy and elongated, and it just keeps yeah. the plant more kind of compact and I guess visually more appealing. Yeah, exactly. So we've got three different ways we'd recommend to propagate the Dark Vader. So firstly is through an offset, which will come from the base of the plant. Uh, they're bigger plants that way and more likely to survive. The second way Jared mentioned before in plant care. So when you take the head off, that's actually propagation. So you will need to wait about a week for the base of the head to callus. Um, then probably wait for some roots to appear and then you can repot that plant. So then it'll be ready to go. But don't throw away your stem because that's another way you can actually propagate. So if you give the stem time, it should actually produce more babies off of it, which uh, we've definitely seen in the past. Uh, there is one other way, th so through leaves, uh, it's supposed to be a little bit more difficult than other Echeveras, but we're definitely going to give that a try and yeah, we'll let you know how it goes in the future. Yeah, so as you can see, the Echevera Dark Vader has <laughs> has plenty of uh, visual impact as well as being, um, yeah, just a really beautiful plant. Why do you love it, Gareth? 
Oh, I love its upturned leaves. And yeah, when they get darker in colour, they're quite unique in the garden. Yeah, there's not that many plants we've got that have that beautiful dark colour. So yeah, we hope you've enjoyed this plant as much as we have. Make sure you do leave some comments. We'd love to hear what you think about this beautiful plant, if you've got them, or yeah, if you're planning on getting one in the future. Anything else, Joe? Yeah, may the force be with you. <laughs> See you.